this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on effect of gyroscopic couple on aeroplane let us first understand how this concept of gyroscopic couple is applied on the movement of aeroplane with the help of diagram now if we observe this diagram this is the front end of the aeroplane and this is the rear end or back end of the aeroplane now at this front end here is the nose and here the propeller is there and it is constantly rotating about this axis i have drawn in the form of dash and dot this is the tail end and we can say that here from this back end or rear end the observer is observing so from this back end there are the possibilities that this propeller is rotating in clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction again there are these two possibilities that is the plane is taking turn towards the left hand side or towards the right hand side that means there are four possibilities when the observer is observing from this rear end so here when the propeller is taking a propeller is rotating in clockwise or anti clockwise direction there are different possibilities and when the plane is taking the left hand side turn or right hand side turn there are different possibilities so we have to find out what is the exact position for this nose and for this tail so there are different positions for different conditions so these four diagrams are important so you can note down in your notebook or you can take the screenshot but before that we will understand how this gyroscopic couple is working or why it is same when in the condition when this aeroplane is taking the turn so we will consider this is the aeroplane so this aeroplane is constantly moving so this is the front end and this is the rear end so we will consider this black portion is the propeller and which is constantly rotating so now we will consider it is rotating in clockwise direction and when seen from the back end so i am seeing from this back end and propeller is constantly rotating in this clockwise direction now what is happening this gyroscopic couple concept is working or applied only when this aeroplane is taking turn towards the right hand side or towards the left hand side now if we observe this is moving here this propeller is rotating and when this aeroplane is taking turn towards the left hand side that means in the same plane that is in the same horizontal plane it is taking turn so this is the angular displacement about this point suppose this is the point and angular displacement about this point in this direction towards the left hand side or towards the right hand side so we can consider here as a vertical axis as a imaginary axis about which the plane is taking turn so what is happening we can say that this is the axis of precession and about this axis of precession the aeroplane is taking turn at the same time the propeller is rotating about this horizontal axis which is known as the axis of spin so we can relate all this information with disc rotating on the horizontal axis known as axis of spin and at the same time it is rotating about one vertical axis at the axis of precession So for that please observe this video Now we will understand what is the exact position for this nose and tail at different conditions So when here this propeller is rotating in clockwise direction and the aeroplane is taking the left turn then there is the raise in nose and dip in tail and in all the conditions the viewer is at the rear end that is the we are viewing this rotation in from this back end and when we 
observe this back end the propeller is rotating in clockwise direction and aeroplane is taking the left turn then what is happening here is the rays in nose and dip in tail then in the second condition here the propeller is rotating in anti clockwise direction and this aeroplane is taking the right turn then is also there is the rays in nose and dip in tail then here in this third condition when the observer is at the rear end or the back end then the propeller is rotating in clockwise direction and the aeroplane is taking the turn towards the right hand side then also there is the dip in nose and raise in tail and here in the last condition when the aeroplane is taking the left turn and the propeller is ro rotating in anti clockwise direction then there is the dip in nose and raise in tail so these all conditions we have to keep in mind and then we have to move to solve the problem now first i will read what is the given problem an aeroplane makes a complete half circle of 50 meter radius towards left when flying at 200 km per hour the rotary engine and the propeller of plane has a mass of 400 kg and the radius of gyration of 0.3 m the engine rotates at 2400 rpm clockwise when viewed from the rear find the gyroscopic couple on the aircraft and state its effect on it so this was the given question we will first understand the given data so if we observe here the radius when the aeroplane is taking turn it is given so if we observe this is the aeroplane and when it is taking turn then for that turn that is when there is the angular displacement so we have we have to consider what is the distance from the origin that is the original point o so here for this angular displacement of this aeroplane the radius of curvature is equal to 50 meter then the aeroplane is moving with some velocity so for that velocity it is given 200 km per hour so we have to convert it into meter per second because meter per second is the standard unit so 200 into 1000 divided by 3600 because in one hour there are how many number of seconds that is 3600 so which is equal to 55.6 meter per second then the mass so mass of the engine is given that is 400 kg so if we observe here at this front there is the propeller or we can say engine so this propeller is constantly rotating about this horizontal axis so what is its a mass so its a mass is 400 kg and the radius of gyration is also given that is k so k is 0.3 m so this k is related to for this because this is this is the propeller and it is constantly rotating about this axis so what is this rotation so for this rotation there is some radius so radius of gyration and that radius of gyration so i i will say that from this horizontal axis here is the distance so this distance is nothing but k and here is the mass m so mass m for this rotating propeller or engine so this k and m are related to here for this propeller and this propeller is having some speed that is the revolution speed that is equal to 2400 revolution per minute and that is also mentioned and this propeller is rotating in clockwise direction and that is also mentioned so if we observe this we have to find out what is the omega because in case of the disk so we will consider here this propeller as a disk and then what is happening that disk is having some mass then that disk is having some radius of gyration and suppose the so the revolution speed is given then from that speed we will calculate the omega so this axis about which the propeller is rotating we will consider this as a axis of spin and then omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 and n is equal to 2400 that's why which is equal to 251 rad per second this is the value of omega so if we observe 
this we have to find out the omega that is related to this propeller. Then we will move for the next. We have to find out the moment of inertia of the engine. So why there is the moment of inertia? Because this engine is having some mass. And for, for that mass there is the inertia that is resistance to the motion. So how to calculate for this a moment of inertia that is I is equal to M into K square. Because for this propeller here M is the mass of the engine and here K is the radius of gyration that is about which it is in which uh, at which radius it is getting constantly rotating about this axis that is K. So I is equal to M K square. So which is equal to 400 into 0 0.3 square which is equal to 36 kilogram meter square. So for this moment of inertia of the engine we have to take this formula that is I is equal to m k square. Then next is if this aeroplane is taking turn then we will consider here one vertical axis that is the imaginary axis and that is known as the axis of precision. So here it is taking turn in one plane that is this is the aeroplane and it is turning towards the left hand side or right hand side. So when it is getting turn that is here it is, here it is mentioned that the aeroplane is taking turn towards the left hand side. So when I am observing this aeroplane from the rear end then here it is turn towards the left hand side. So we have to find out what is the angular velocity of precession. So for that how to calculate? So it depends on the what is the velocity of this aeroplane and what is the radius for which it is taking the turn. So here radius is also given, velocity for this aeroplane is also given. So from that we can calculate the omega p that is the angular velocity of precession and which is equal to v by r. So v is 55.6 and r is 50. So which is equal to 1.11 rad per second. So now it is easy for us to find out what is the gyroscopic couple. So gyroscopic couple is nothing but I omega omega P. So when we put the value I that is 36 multiplied by 251 multiplied by 1.11 that is equal to here 146 newton meter and that is equal to 10.04 kilo newton meter. So here is the answer. But what is the exact effect on the aeroplane when it is taking the turn towards the left hand side, observer is at the rear end and the propeller is rotating in clockwise direction. So in all these conditions, there is the nose is getting lifted in upward and the tail is moving to the downward side. So we can say that there is the raise in nose and dip in tail. So we have to write this answer.